Today for you, I'm going to be preparing chicken sukha. So chicken sukha is a dry chicken dish, as in there is no gravy, but it's got some you know, amazing spices. It's a perfect appetizer dish. Now, what we're going to do is first we're going to toast the spices, the whole spices, and then make a sukha masala or, you know, powder mix in the spice mix. All right. And then we're going to start cooking the chicken, add the sukha masala, and then we're going to be garnishing it with some curry leaves and coconut. So this is going to be kind of South Indian, Mangalorean style chicken sukha dish. All righty. So let's get started. All right, friends. So I have a nonstick pan over here, medium size. To that, I'm going to add four dry red chilies. We are preparing the sukha masala or mixture. But before that, we're going to toast the spices. Here I have one teaspoon of fenugreek or methi seeds. I have you know, two teaspoons of cumin seeds. Then I have two, tip, two teaspoons of coriander seeds. So initially you put two, but then two more because it's going to be, you know, more quantity because we are going to be cooking about two kgs, about, you know, four and a half pounds of chicken sukkah. Uh, this is going to be appetizer for the party that I'm having. All right. And one teaspoon of soft, as they call it. And soft is fennel. So these are fennel seeds. All righty. Next thing that goes in there is about 20 peppercorns, black peppercorns, 20 of those, about eight of cloves. I'm going to add about seven cloves of, large cloves of garlic. Okay, so basically, we're going to toast these, dry toast them, and Initially the pan was hot, now I have it on medium, medium low, because we don't want spices to burn either. All right. And, I, and they're becoming very fragrant, you know, the red pepper, red dry pepper, and then the cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds and all that. All right, so to that we're gonna be adding fresh coconut. So this is about four tablespoons of fresh coconut. And now I have reduced the heat to low because the pan is really hot. And again, we don't burn our spices, the whole spices. So I'm gonna keep on stir frying this, toasting the seeds in the mix along with the fresh grated coconut until the coconut becomes dry. All right. And once the coconut is dry, we're going to let this cool off and then we're going to grind that into a paste in a grinder. All right. All right, friends. So the coconut has become dry and the moisture is gone. And so our chicken suka spice mix or masala mix is ready. We have the whole spices that we grind that now. All right, friends, so our sukha mix, you know, the masala mix is toasted and now it's in the grinder. So we're gonna grind that. I had also added a small cinnamon stick when we toasted our spices. All righty, so we're gonna add that to this and give it a bowl. All right, friends, so there you have it. A spice mix, you know, for the su chicken sukha is ready with the coconut and the Old spices, coriander seeds, fennel seeds, cumin seeds, whole lot of other items. And all those will be listed in the recipe in the description box under my YouTube video on the YouTube channel Indiana Blade. Alrighty. So, so now we are going to set this aside, take it in a bowl. And then what we're going to do is start cooking our stir frying our onions. Alright. Alright, friends. So now to make our chicken sukha, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add 
four tablespoons of refined oil or cooking oil. You can use sunflower oil or you can use groundnut oil, canola oil, okay? Just any refined cooking oil. So now the saucepan is already hot, it's a large saucepan and the oil is going to get hot real fast and I can feel it, it's hot already. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cook this on medium flame, all right? So to this hot oil, what I'm going to do is add four red sliced onions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fry the onions, shallow fry them for about seven to eight minutes until they are almost golden brown. All right, friends, so our onions are ready. We cook them for almost seven minutes and they're nice, soft, almost fried, lighter brown. To that, I'm going to be adding two kilos or four and a half pounds of chicken. So this is dark meat chicken, high pieces dark meat, and this is boneless. The reason this is boneless is you know I'm going to be serving that as an appetizer, and so I don't want people to have bones coming into the mouth. So we're going to quickly mix this with the onion. And like I said, this is 2 kg of boneless dark meat, high pieces. So it's going to be nice and juicy on the inside, not dry like chicken breast. You could also do like a whole chicken, cut it up, and then you know make it in with bones. So this is boneless. Alrighty. So we're going to stir fry this, cook the chicken until it's kind of brown. Alright friends, so as you can see our chicken has changed color, it's beginning to cook. And the moisture from the chicken dark meat you know, pieces and the moisture from the onions has released the liquid and water and that's also helped kind of the chicken. So the next step is we will start adding some spices to our chicken soup. First thing I'm going to add is about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now usually you, know, you would just add a pinch but because our quantity is larger we are going to be adding half a teaspoon. Next thing I'm going to add to this is two tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder. So this is kind of like paprika but better. It's got less heat, amazing flavor, and it gives your dish a beautiful red color. I'm gonna mix that. Okay. It's already smelling amazing and we haven't even added the, the suka mix or the dry masala powder mix that we blend grinded earlier already so this looks good now we we'll add a teaspoon of salt you can add less or more but because again this is like two kgs of more than four pounds of chicken I'm adding the quantity we'll give that a quick stir Make sure that all the spices coat the chicken pieces nicely so that the flavor is even amongst all the pieces. All right. Now, next thing to add to this is our spice masala mix, the dry mix for the chicken suka. At this point, I have reduced the heat 
to medium low right so this is going to go in there and this is i want to say about a cup and a half of all the spices that we toasted in grind, grind it, along with the coconut and garlic cloves cinnamon dry red chilies Okay, so we're going to give that a quick mix. Make sure the chicken's coated nicely. I'm telling you, this is smelling fantastic. And we're not even done yet. All right. So all the pieces are coated nicely. With a dry masala mix. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add tamarind juice. So this tamarind juice, you can either get it ready-made, but it tastes better if you soak the tamarind and then, you know, add water to that. And then you run it through a sieve so that all the seeds are left behind and they're already together as this. So this is about five tablespoons of tamarind juice. Now, tamarind, you know, it not only adds flavor, but also it adds color. And it's got a sweet and tangy, sour note to that. So along with the peppers and spices, now this gives it a sour note and a sweet note. Okay, so that's looking fantastic. What we're going to do is cover this and we're going to let it simmer or medium low for five minutes okay next thing that's going to go in here is about three tablespoons of fresh grated coconut remember in our suka masala mix we added four tablespoons but this is now you know for freshness and top at the end so now what we're going to do is give this a quick stir that's also going to soak up some of the liquid and then give it flavor along with the curry leaves. So, final thing that we're going to do is cover this and let it just simmer on low for two minutes. All right, friends, so our chicken suka is ready the liquid the moisture is dried up and as you can see now it's got a nice dry gravy to it and i wouldn't call it gravy but more like a masala and now it's time to plate this baby all right so there you have it folks our amazingly delicious chicken suka mangalian style it smells fantastic tastes amazing so please check out my recipe on my channel India on a Plate and please like, share and subscribe as there are many other amazingly delicious recipes on there. Thank you very much. Bon appetit.